Value investing is a strategy that uses fundamental analysis to find stocks that appear undervalued. Value investors believe that market movement may be an overreaction to short-term news, and that this overreaction can cause stock prices to not accurately reflect the company's potential worth. Companies that can be classified as value stocks are typically in the maturity or decline stage of the business cycle. Let's break this down. Think of value investing as shopping for stocks that may be on sale. For example, let's say you are thinking about buying a new computer, and you know that computers go on sale at certain times of the year. The computer will perform the same whether you buy it for $500 or $600. Given that, if you're looking to maximize the value of your purchase, why not wait to buy it on sale for $500? We'll take a deeper look at fundamental analysis in a different lesson. But for now, just know that fundamental analysis uses a company's public financial statements and economic reports to help determine what the intrinsic or fair value of that company is. Certain key ratios, typically involving cash flows, are used to help make the process easier and allow analysts to compare different companies in the same industry. Even the most experienced fundamental analysts can get a stock valuation wrong. So they may consider setting up a buffer between their valuation and the price that they would buy a stock at. This buffer would be based on an investor's risk tolerance and is sometimes referred to as the margin of safety. Let's look at an example. After analyzing a company, you determine the fair value to be $40 a share. If you buy the stock at $39, you have the potential to make a dollar profit, if you're right. But if you buy the stock at $30, you have a potential to make a $10 profit, if you're right. Now, if your valuation of the company was wrong, and it only ends up trading as high as $35, you'll lose $4 if you bought it at $39. However, if you bought the stock at $30, you still make a profit of $5. Value investing can be a time-consuming strategy if an investor does the valuation themselves. TD Direct Investing can help make this process easier with the use of some of our tools on WebBroker. Let's see how. The screener tool lets you create a list of stocks based on certain fundamental criteria. Once you have a list created, if you want to dive deeper into a company's financial data, click the Fundamentals and Earnings tab from the Stock Overview page. The Reports tab provides you with more information from other financial valuation companies to help form your own valuation. The Analyst tab can be used to view a list of price targets and ratings from numerous analysts. To learn more about the tools available on WebBroker, visit the Find Your Next Trade lesson in the Learning Center. If you want to use a value-based investing strategy, but don't have the time to do the research, a managed product may save you time. Let's review the persona a typical value-based investor might have. A typical investing time frame for this strategy can be medium to long. Risk tolerance can usually be described as moderate. How much capital or time an investor commits to their portfolio depends on whether they choose their own stocks, which can be time-consuming, or whether they use a managed solution which might require less time. Their goal can often be to grow their portfolio slowly or to outperform the market. And they may typically invest in individual stocks, ETFs, and mutual funds. Check out our lesson on growth investing as we discuss the other half of the classic investor debate, value versus growth investing.